Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. Today, I'm just going to do um, a general tarot reading. Um, I may uh, discuss uh, a topic that's come up, you know, like a current event. <laughs> kind of thing so I may do that um, in the meantime I'm just saging my cards so how are you guys doing are you following the um, the rules in your area concerning the uh, coronavirus safety procedures I hope you are please take them seriously as much as you know as you can you know unfortunately we weren't prepared for this you know we didn't know it was coming really Sister Wanda Candle. No, Stone. <laughs> Wanda Stone. <laughs> I'm just going to say a quick prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for being the Savior of the world so that whosoever believeth shall not perish. In Jesus' name, amen. It's just that simple. For me, <laughs> it's just that simple. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pick an angel message. A topic that's coming to me. A lot of families, blended families, polyamorous families, um, you know, many variety of family combinations are struggling with who stays with who. Where do I stay during this shutdown? With that being said, let me pick an angel message. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hmm. I'm going to do it again. It didn't work. No, that's the wrong book. No wonder it didn't work. It's not the right book. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> okay, I have the right book now. Or maybe that means I should pull a tarot card first. I don't know. I need to pay attention. Hmm. Okay. A surprise is on the horizon. And the message is 
as you give of yourself, so you shall receive the heavenly gifts bestowed upon you. A surprise is on the horizon and the message is as you give of yourself so you shall receive the heavenly gifts bestowed upon you. There's more to read but I'm I want to go ahead and pull a tarot card first before I read that okay here we go so um, again stay safe as it's, it's possible um, do the best you can to keep you know bleach in your home and oh ooh, ooh, a car flew out yes can't make this up. Look at this card. There's communication issues going on in families during this quarantine time. <laughs> I've been a tarot reader for a year now, a little over a year now. And it still surprises me when the cards just fly out, you know. Like, in, in this case, just one card flew out. But it's still, each time it happens, it's like, oh, here is one. <laughs> but this one is so fitting. And it's the um, Seven of Swords. And once again, the feminine energy in this case. And remember, feminine energy is not limited to a male or female um, gender. You know what I mean? The feminine energy is looking out the window. looking for other ways, looking for solutions. And he's worried. He's given up the fight. See, his sword is laying down. You know, when you have a lot on your mind, you know, the masculine energy has a lot on their mind. You can see it in this card. And they feel defenseless. Masculine energy. And again, masculine energy is not limited to male uh, nor female uh, gender. So... And it's just the seven of swords. There's a conflict, concern in the air. I mean, it's still a happy environment. I mean, there's flowers and there's animals and things are still pretty fruitful. You know, but... Let me go back to the angel message, Let me, you know. But look how this, <laughs> look how this card just fit. <laughs> I get so excited. So, <sighs> thank you, Jesus. Even in the midst of a global crisis there is hope there is hope there 
there is still love abound. Okay, so now I'm going to finish reading the, um, the surprises on the horizon. I'm going to read this part now. Angels want to give you a gift for all the good deeds and generosity you have been sowing or showing, showing to others. Everything you do is with divine honor. Sorry if I'm rocking, but I'm, I'm just feeling it, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's better to go start to side or back to, I don't know, but I just feel like moving right now. Everything you do is with divine honor and pure intention. You show kindness. Without expecting a reward. That's how my mama raised me. When you help somebody, when you give, don't even expect anything back. Don't. Mm -mm. Let my rewards come from the above. That individual may not even be may not even have the capacity to bless me they may they may not god knows what blessing is best for me and where it should come from and i don't want to limit my blessings to any individual nor thing And you give from the heart. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Pure intentions come from the heart. Only you, as an individual, making a decision where to live during this crisis as the country progressively shut down. A national shut in. It can be agonizing trying to decide. You're concerned about all your loves, all your family, all your children. Each of you are concerned during this crisis. The angels are about to give you something unexpected to show that your generosity is not going unnoticed. Everything you do, God knows about it. And he sends his angels to bless you at appointed times. You don't have to stand around waiting for it. It's going to come on time. You keep on being generous. And you keep on feeding yourself self-care. Self-care. Self-care is maximizing 
your family unit's ability to look out the window. Look outside yourself for opportunities. And then it says, Know that you are supported by your angels and the universe. God created, he is the creator of this entire universe. All the planets, all the vegetation, you know, the weather, all of that. The seasons, day and night. He's the creator of everything. And it's best to look to him for answers. It's okay to look within, you know, because we have stored over our lifetime a lot of information, a lot of knowledge and education. And, you know, we've invested a lot in ourselves, you know, uh, spiritually and... Um, naturally you know what I'm saying so that self-care thing I think I'm done with this yeah okay I'm done with this book thank God for these angel messages I love them they pull something out of me you know but I think what I was trying to say is um when it comes to self-care, you got to keep yourself fed. Keep yourself surrounded with people that can take you to the next level. Keep yourself surrounded with the people or persons or person that is intuitive, inquisitive. who's looking out the window, who's exploring, who's trying to figure things out. You have to balance each other. Some people go within, and it, it looks like worry, the people that go within, you know, but he clearly in this situation feels defeated. You can just see it all in his demeanor. And his sword is down and he's naked and, you know. But she has a little more life in her because she's being inquisitive. She's searching and looking. She's hopeful. That's the word, hopeful. But because it's Seven of Swords, it's also an indication of there's a break in communication. There's a disconnect here. There's a disconnect and there's room to balance and grow together. But at the end of the day, you want to surround yourself with people that is going to empower you, take you to the next level as a person, 
And the bottom of the deck, I didn't shuffle anymore, but the bottom of the deck is... Ooh, the Eight of Swords. When you... Let, okay, this is the card that came up, the Eight of Swords. In this card, it shows a deep connection. It shows passion. It shows interest. You know, warmth. 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 It shows warmth. But, let me, um, but it also, but I also see in the background a little bit of, um, negative energy. That's some negative energy. Again, when you're choosing, when you're having to make a choice, um, someone's going to be happy about it. <laughs> And someone's going to feel some kind of way. The choice is yours. But always choose hope. Always be hopeful. Faith. Use your faith in making these type of decisions. Okay, I'm going to relight my sage because I feel this getting kind of heavy right here. <laughs> this is a deep message. I didn't know how this was going to swing, but now I see. <laughs> mm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just going to sage my area right here. Just re-sage it again. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. So many people need to hear this message. Praise God. Praise God. So, I'm just going to pull those two cards, but now I'm going to read up on each one because I just shared with you, you know, what I pulled from them. But they also have a, a, a universal book meaning, and I don't want you to miss out on that. Okay. Once you make the right choice. You're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel better. Okay, so we have the seven and the eight of swords here. Um, okay. The seven of swords... The magic of the seven red tulips. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess seven. Yeah, okay, so there's those red tulips. Tulips. Oh, okay. This is only the beginning is not enough. But it is a beginning. Not every seed can ripen in a day. This is why you must preserve. This is kind of deep. Okay. <laughs> so again, hope, hopeful, you know, seeds and it says only the beginning is not enough, but it is a beginning. Not every seed can ripen in a day, 
This is why you must preserve. Ripen, ripen, ripen. People develop and grow at different times. But when a crisis hit, it disrupts your flow. It disrupts your routine. And you find yourself feeling divided. As an individual, your spirit does, your heart does. Your heart and your spirit feels divided. Card number eight. <clears throat> Scratching. Magic of the green cloth. Okay, there's a green cloth in the background. Okay. Yeah. Magic of that green cloth. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Green freeze sensuality. It allows the body to guide the spirit before the mind can guide the body. The body guides the spirit, okay, before the mind can guide the body. Ooh, okay. You cannot teach the flesh if it is not willing to learn from you. Willing learners, willing learners. Again, always be in the healthiest environment for you in a crisis. You have no choice. You have the right to survive, to live, and thrive. Put yourself in an environment where you can be comforted, loved, and just understand that there's going to be contention, but that can be dealt with. It can be dealt with. The broken hearts, the disappointment, the tears. It's a crisis. It's hard to escape a crisis without someone getting hurt. Somebody around you including yourself, me, you know, it hurts when you have multiple partners and in a crisis, you can't be there for everyone. It hurts. So, that being said, um, instead of doing another angel message, because those messages get so deep, um, I think I'm just going to close out with that. I think that summed it up pretty good. That summed it up. You know. Make sure everyone is in their best possible situation including you especially you before you can recommend what's best for the next person you have 
got to know and act on what's best for you in a national crisis. There may not be fairness for a while. If you didn't handle your affairs before now, it may be too late for a long time. Who knows? I'm not trying to put fear in you, but I'm just saying, the cards are saying, now is the time to make the best choice for you. Once you're honest with yourself, you can be honest with your partners. And once you're honest with your partners, then they can be honest with themselves and look out for themselves, what's in their best interest, based on, you know, the truth that's on the floor. And if there's children involved, you know, all that would get figured out as well in the midst of all that. You know what I'm saying? At least school is out for the year. During this national crisis, you know. We all have the right to survive, but not only survive, but to thrive. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. And love each other, you know, take care of each other. Shout out to all the school systems and churches and programs that are uh, making food available in the communities. We personally are using the Detroit Public Schools because we don't have like a lot of grocery stores in our area. And, um, you know, and the supplies are getting scarce. I'm not, you know, beyond toilet paper, you know, beyond toilet paper, um, the supplies in the stores are getting scarce, like fresh vegetables are hard to come by, good ones, you know, hard to come by. But I've noticed with these programs out here, you know, the uh, school systems, churches, um, you know, other businesses, organizations, you know, the community is still getting fresh fruit. Uh, children are still getting milk, you know. And uh, uh, quick foods, you know, uh, foods that are um, easy to prepare, you know, quick foods, healthy foods like vegetables that are individually wrapped vegetables. Everything is individualized. Um, fresh fruit and also fruit in the cups. So we've been storing the fruits in the cups just in case the stores around us run out of stuff. You know, be prepared for cities um, barricading, you know, their borders keeping uh, neighboring cities out because when the resources start getting scarce you don't want people from other cities coming in your city buying up y'all stuff it's like well what y'all gonna buy it's, it's real it's really here Whatever it is, is here. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> and we're all going through it together. But in the midst of it, we got to survive. And the people that we love must survive too. And when you don't live under one roof or in the same state or whatever your situation is, and if there's some type of, you know, multiple living arrangements and things, Someone's going to get hit pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to get hit pretty hard.
choose wisely for all involved. Thank you for tuning in to Dr. Leisha the Preacher again. <laughs> you can donate to my channel. Um, it's Cash App, dollar sign, DR for Dr. Leisha the Preacher, just like on my channel. Thank you. Be blessed.